There's an old Chinese proverb that says, a guitar with a broken neck is like a man with a broken back. This short video is super important for anyone who is ever going to buy a guitar. But only if you're buying a guitar that has a neck. Otherwise, you really don't have to bother watching this video. So, welcome back to Guitar Quackery, where we are about to have a scientific discussion about scarf joints. So, what are scarf joints? It's a method of gluing two pieces of wood together. On a guitar neck, a scarf joint could look like this, or it could look like this. You get the idea. Scarf joints are used mainly to save on material costs. Is there anything wrong with scarf joints? Well, it depends, because all scarf joints are not the same. Some can cause issues and some will actually increase the strength of the guitar neck. Let's throw a few guitars on the bench and have a look. Oh yeah, but before we do so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. The first scarf joint we'll look at uh, is actually the one that most often causes issues. So let's have a look. We see these scarf joints on cheap Ibanez guitars, uh, Harley Benton, and this one is a Jackson. Uh, so obviously this kind of scarf joint can affect um, the fretboard. It can uh, create a hump right here on the second fret, first position. We see that quite frequently. And that's because the wood grain direction is um, not uniformed here. So it changes and as one piece of wood ages in one direction, the other piece of wood would age in the other direction. So it's much better if the scarf joint can be uh, positioned in this place here. I recently reviewed two guitars that had this kind of scarf joint and in both cases there was an issue with the fretboard. Um, I'll put both links in the description but uh, here's a segment from my review video of the Ibanez RGA42. So there is nothing wrong with uh, scarf joints, but I am never crazy about uh, seeing a scarf joint in this part of the neck. It is better structurally to have a scarf joint here uh, going the other direction. And the reason is because a scarf joint can affect the integrity of the neck. So when you have a scarf joint here, it can cause a little hump on the fretboard because of the way the wood moves and settles over time. And that might be the reason why we are seeing this high fret. We're only getting started. So if you find this kind of information helpful to you, uh, make sure you click like and subscribe so that the YouTube algorithm knows what to recommend to you in the future. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I will also show you a guitar with a big problem uh, with this kind of scarf joint. But first, let's look at another type of scarf joint. Oh, sorry. A guitar quackery? Oh, oh yeah, sure, yeah. Viewer wants to know which was the other guitar review video that showed this kind of scarf joint. It was a Harley Benton progressive series guitar. I'll put a link below. Now let's move on to the other type of scarf joint often seen on Epiphone guitars. The Epiphone scarf joint is clearly away from the neck. Uh, it goes into the headstock 
and then it's uh, also capped on the sides with uh, well here we can see very clearly there's another piece of wood here covering the scarf joint on the side so this scarf joint is much better than the one here because it's away from the neck and the fretboard okay so now you know what to look for but this kind of scarf joint might not always be as apparent as we've seen just now um, as we are about to see now Epiphone J200 let's have a look this guitar also has a scarf joint the Epiphone uh, style scarf joint as you can see it's hidden with the black burst sneaky but there's nothing wrong with that um, that's how they make it look nicer um, you know I've never seen an Epiphone scarf joint fail so I think it's it's okay so does every Epiphone have the same kind of scarf joint not really why don't I show you this is an Epiphone but this one doesn't have the scarf joint at the back of the headstock it has this scarf joint here over the uh, first position on the neck okay so we can't count on all epiphones having a, a scarf joint here where it would be favorable and if it's covered with uh, opaque paint we would never know i'm sure you can conclude intuitively that the headstock scarf joint is in fact much better than the scarf joint on the neck um, and uh, speaking of headstock scarf joints the nicest looking scarf joint can be found on taylor guitars taylor makes some of the best scarf joints so this is absolutely beautiful it's even decorative those are two pieces of wood we can see where it ends here I've never seen one of those fail or cause any problems. That was a really well executed scarf joint. It actually makes the neck to headstock transition stronger and it also looks good. Taylor uses scarf joints because it's an environmentally friendly company. And you know, we'll talk about Taylor guitars in some other video, but in any case, you have to agree that the Taylor scarf joint design is in fact the best we've seen so far. But that's not the only neck to headstock joint that we see on Taylor guitars. This isn't a scarf joint. I'm not sure if this one is called a finger joint, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is something totally different. We see this on Taylor guitars. And now it's time for dessert. I'm going to show you what happens when a scarf joint fails. All the Angelico guitars are not created equal. This one was created in Indonesia. It has a scarf joint that failed. We can see it right here. Um, there's actually a, a step here. I can actually uh, feel it with my thumb. And this scarf joint is basically beyond repair. So this guitar is garbage right now. It's actually not beyond repair, it's just beyond any logical repair in terms of budget. I've actually seen a handful of guitars over the years with this kind of scarf joint failure. It rarely happens, but it does happen. Now keep in mind that I'm a repair technician, so I'm actually more likely to encounter these problems. And that's simply because people bring guitars to me when they have a problem. So you should not really worry about this kind of scarf joint failure as it is in fact rare and it's almost certainly covered by manufacturer's warranty well unless you buy a 50 dollars guitar on amazon all right so now the time has come for me to remind you that you can help the youtube algorithm learn what kind of videos to suggest you in the future if you click the like and subscribe buttons Although this looks like a simple video, it actually took me quite <laughs> some time, more than expected, to put it all together. So 
if you feel you want to buy me a coffee, well, I won't say no. I will say thank you. So uh, if you want to do that, you can simply click the link below that says buy me a coffee. There's also a Patreon link and a link to buy guitar quackery merch. Be well, don't forget to play guitar, and hope to see you soon.